So the soles of the feet come together, knees out to the side. Uh-huh, down on your backs. <clears throat> uh, I hope you can see through the grass. There's lots of grass. It needs to be mowed. <laughs> okay, so soles of the feet together, knees out to the side. And relax it down. Yeah. And then just take your attention to your breathing for a few moments. While you allow gravity to just open up your inner thighs and the groin area. Oh yeah, just relax into this. Hello trees, beautiful blue sky. A nice deep inhale through the nose. Sip it in, sip it up, sip it up, sip it up. Hold it for just a moment. Exhale out your mouth. Once again, nice inhale through the nose. Keep taking it in, taking it in, and then hold it for just a moment or two. And then sigh it out your mouth. Good for you. And then we're going to put our fingertips on the belly. We're going to do a little bit of belly breathing. So breathe deeply into your lungs. Push your diaphragm so that we can expand the belly. And very gently exhale it out. And I want you to feel that belly, inhaling and exhaling right there. So your fingertips are very lightly on the belly. Relax your face, relax your hips, relax your inner thighs. We'll be here for about 30 seconds to a minute. So breathe into the belly, that's all, and stay right here with you. Focus on coming present. Maybe put just a little bit of a smile on your lips so that your face relaxes completely. Breathing deeply, belly rises and falls. And at the same time, relax the body. Use your ujjayi breathing. Another 10 seconds, please. Good, at the bottom of an exhale, then let's start to bring these knees up. And we're gonna pull them into the chest, just rock and roll a little bit side to side for a moment. Okay, and then we're gonna gently open up these hips. So cross your right foot over the left knee, picking up this left leg, interlace behind the left knee, or thread the needle. Bring your left knee as close to your left shoulder as you can. Yeah. And then breathe into that right hip. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are you guys seeing only sun out there? Okay. Rock and roll just a little bit. Let your hips just kind of uh, swing side to side. And notice how it goes into that right hip a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Just a little deep 
deep inhale. On your exhale, let's just change sides. Switch it over so the left foot's across. Lift your right leg. Pull the right leg in. Uh-huh. And get a nice stretch in your hip here. Yeah. Okay. So different here. Pull it in. Breathe into that left hip and say, oh my gosh, doesn't that feel good? And then maybe rock over to the right side a little bit. Notice how it stretches into your left hip a little bit more. Uh-huh. And as you bring that back, just unhook your feet. Pull the knees in nice and easy. Rock and roll a little bit. Mm -hmm. Get the low back, a little bit of a stretch. Push the knees away, half circle over to the left, and pull them in tight towards your armpit on the left, and feel that low back stretch. Push the knees away, half circle over to the right. Pull them in nice and tight so you can feel that stretch. A couple more times. Inhaling and exhaling. Exhale as you pull the knees in. Inhale as you push them over. Exhale as you pull them in. Nice. Now from here, you can cross one ankle over the other if you want to, and we'll rock ourselves up or continue rolling over and sit yourself up, however you want to do that. And while we're here, mm -hmm. bring your hands together at your heart center for just a moment. Take a nice deep inhale. On your exhale, bow your head. Mm -hmm. I want you to scan your body and see how you're feeling this morning. I can feel a beautiful breeze going on out here. Very nice. Thank goodness, because it's pretty darn hot already. Just breathe. Check in. See how you're feeling today. Lengthen your spine up nice and straight. High. Pull the belly in. Set your intention for your practice this morning. See what that might be for you today. One more deep inhale. On the exhale, let the hands come down to the lap, raise your face. Let's take the arms up. Yep, and we'll put some movement into the body. Just take it forward. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Round your back now. Breathe into your belly twice. Nice and deep. And at the bottom of the exhale, pull the belly in. Walk the hands back towards your torso. Uh-huh. Until the top of the head reaches for the sky. Change the cross of the legs. Mm -hmm. Inhale and lift. Look up to the sky here. Exhale, forward fold. Nice. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Lengthen through the spine. Yeah. And then exhale, forward fold. Round your back and then breathe into the belly. Twice. And again. The bottom of your exhale, pull the belly in. Walk the hands back towards your torso. Stack one vertebra on top of the other until the top of the head reaches for the sky. Good, let's take these legs out in front of us. And just shake them out and go up and down the IT band here for a minute. Make sure everything's working nicely. Let's circle these ankles around. Just a little bit, warm up this body. Go ahead and circle your wrists around a little bit, good. And then the arms go straight up, uh-huh. And we're gonna come forward about three inches for a chair pose, seated chair pose, right? Try to bring the arms back by your ears as best you can. Take another deep inhale. On the exhale, take it forward, 
another couple of inches, still pulling back as though we're doing an actual chair pose right here. One more, deep inhale, reach, exhale, forward fold. Let your hands come down to wherever they make it, whether it's your ankles or your shins or your feet. Uh huh. Then take a deep inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Let your head drop. And feel this lovely back body stretch. Breathe into the belly here again. Those of you that have the feet and you can put your hands over the top of the feet, take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, press the balls of the feet into the palms of your hand to stretch out through the side body, through your armpits and the low back. Push the balls of the feet out. And then on your inhale, push the heels out and pull the toes back. One more time, exhale. The balls of the feet go into the palms of the hand and pull your arms to lengthen, lengthen, lengthen through that spine again. Mm -hmm. Breathe here. Nice, one more. Deep inhale. Good. And then plug your neck right into your spine. As you come up with a flat spine, walk the hands up uh -huh, until you're all the way up to seated. Let's take the arms out and up. Uh huh. You don't have to bring the hands together this time, just straight up by your ears. And then we'll drop the right hand. Well, for you, I guess it'd be your yeah, right hand. And then let's take a side stretch right here. Just bend it over. Try not to lean the torso, okay? Just bend over and reach with that left arm and see if you can look underneath that left arm. Give it a nice stretch through the left side body. And then as you inhale, you come up. The left hand comes down, right one comes up and over the top and we take a side stretch. Uh-huh. Maybe look underneath that right arm. Try not to lean too far over. Just stretching and breathing into that right lung. Good. One more deep inhale. Come on up. Here we go. Let's cross these legs. Come over the tops of the knees. And we'll find our tabletop. And from here, we're going to a nice cat cow. So Cow stretch as you exhale, inhale, and look up. Exhale, tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone. Back body comes up nice and high. Inhale, looking up. Mm -hmm. Exhale, tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone. Cat stretch. Good, one more. Inhale, looking up. Mm -hmm. Exhale, let's come to neutral right here. Let's curl the toes under. We're going to pick the hips up. Boom. Straight up, and we're going to find our downward facing dog. First dog of the day. Push it back. Uh huh. Maybe walk your feet so that you can stretch into the calves of your legs, right? Press your hips back and push the right heel down, and then switch it to the left heel. Find the calf. And then both heels go all the way back, right? Lengthen through the spine once again, like you were seated, and we're stretching out through those shoulders again. Nice and straight and long back. And then you'll step or walk or jump your feet all the way up between the hands. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Let's heel and toe the feet, hips width. And we'll hang it over for Shimasana. Grab both feet. Uh, obviously elbows, if you'd like. See if you can straighten through those knees and maybe wag your tail side to side. A little more hamstring. Mm -hmm. Breathing. Nice. Then take a deep inhale. Exhale, the hands come down to the mat. We're going to bend into the knees. Knees right over your ankles. 
and then we're gonna drop our head and we're gonna round up. So just press in your feet, pull your body up, one vertebra at a time again until the top of the head comes up. Woo. And then take the shoulders forward and lift, and back, and forward and lift, and back. Good. And we come into Tadasana. Two feet together. <laughs> Bring your hands together at your heart center. Take a nice deep inhale. On your exhale, press your hands down like you're pushing the air. Bring them all the way up. Exhale, big swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, forward fold again. Just forward fold and get your knees. And then press your feet. Arms come out and up. Stand all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Nice. Once again, inhale, arms come up. Exhale, big swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold again. Inhale, press the feet, arms come out. Stand up, look up to your thumbs. And as you exhale, bring your body into Tadasana. Nice. Now, send your attention out to all the people in your life that you love. Wish them well. Put them in your heart. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, big swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, bend your knees, plant your hands, and step all the way back to a push-up position. Chaturanga, or take it all the way to the mat, and then scoop it through to up. Dog or cobra. Yeah, shoulders down your back. Push the shoulders down. Yeah, lift. And pick the hips up and push it back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, step or walk or jump your feet up between the hands. Continue inhaling, look up and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Look up to the hands. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Let's do that two more times. Bring all those loved ones into your heart. Inhale, lift. Exhale, big swan dive forward. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, step or lightly jump back to a push up position. Chaturanga. Or take it all the way to the mat and come into small cobra. Or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Push it all the way back. Step or walk or jump your feet up between the hands. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand all the way up. Arms come up, up to your thumbs. Exhale, hands to your heart center as you come back to Kudasana one more time. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, big swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, step or lightly jump back to your push up position. Chaturanga. Bring it through up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Push it all the way back. Push. Then we're gonna take this right leg straight back and up. We're gonna open up the hip and take the leg up as high as we want to. Woo. Stretch it. Maybe bend the knee and allow the leg and the hip to fall over to the left. So right side body stretch. Mm -hmm. And then as you bring that foot up, square the hips. Swing this right leg through. Oh, let's find warrior one. Warrior one. Mm -hmm. Right foot is forward. Left foot back. Warrior one. Arms high. Square your hips to the front of the room, or front of your space, wherever you happen to be. Open the heart. Maybe a little bit of a back bend if you can. And then let's take these arms out to the side. Interlace the fingers behind. Inhale, lengthen through, arch the back, 
Exhale, forward fold, humble warrior. Just bring it down. Take the arms up and over the top to wherever that feels good to you. Mm -hmm. Breathe. Keep that right knee bent nicely. Turn on the hamstring to that leg. Be solid in your left. Take a deep inhale. I want you to release the arms, bring them out to the side. Bring this left hand inside your right foot, straighten through this right knee, and come into revolve triangle. Square hips, breathe. Maybe look up to that high hand, roll the belly, and lengthen through your spine. One more deep inhale. Exhale, let's bring that right hand down. Let's bend into the right knee. Come to the ball of the foot on the back. Drop your left knee, point the toe, and come into crescent moon. All the way down to your heel, your knee. Yeah. Nice, good. Exhale, let's bring these hands down. We're going to heel and toe this right foot out to the side. Bring the hand right inside of that right foot. And then we're going to take a gecko. Okay. Some people, I think, call it lizard. I want you to stretch the hip flexor, so come forward. Yes, come forward. And then see how much stretch you can get into this. In your hip flexor, both hands down, Sarita. Both hands down. Yep. Maybe you'll come to your elbows, maybe not. Just depends on your practice, where you are. And then as you work your way back to the hands, I want you to shift your weight to this back knee. Pull the right toes up and straighten through the knee. Look up at me, look up. Uh-huh, look up, straighten out this leg. Exhale, forward fold. There you go. Nice hamstring stretch. Mm -hmm. We're going to push it just a little bit further here. So go ahead and push that heel out. Maybe take it into a nice Hanumanasana. Keep your hands solid on the mat to help you. Uh huh. This is only if this is part of your practice and you want to try this, okay? Stretch it back, the back leg goes back, yes. Uh-huh, nicely done. And then take another deep inhale. On your exhale, press into the hands to help pull this right foot back. And then come to the knees. Let me get my mouth. Okay, come to the knees, sit back. Hands come behind to the feet. Oh, we got a bee over here. Hang on. <laughs> you okay? Hi. <laughs> relax you. Relax you. Relax over your body, your uh, thighs just for a moment. It just likes you here. That's all. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's okay. And then as you come up, bring the hands forward. Let's come up to our knees. Separate the knees a little bit, curl the toes under, and let's come back to our downward facing dog. Just push it all the way back. Stretch it back. Nice. Get your head home, okay? See if you can press into those arms so much that your hips fly, your tailbone flies high. And maybe your forehead comes closer to the mat. Maybe. Just for kicks. And then take this left leg straight back and up. Open the hip. Take it up nice and high, the left leg. Way back and up. And then bend that left knee and let the leg and the hip drop to the right. Here it is. Leg is high. Yeah. And get a nice stretch through that left side body. 
And then as you take the foot straight up, square the hips, we're gonna swing this leg through for warrior one. So the left leg comes forward and we come to standing on the, uh -huh. take your time, just take your time. It's so different out here, isn't it? Beautiful. Bend into that front knee as best you can. Mm -hmm. And then see if you can maybe look up, maybe. Take the arms back. We're gonna interlace with the other pinky finger at the bottom. And then we're gonna open your heart. Lift, lift, lift. And then exhale forward fold. Humble warrior. Let's come forward. Lengthen through your spine. Put the shoulder blades closer together on your back if you can. Pick those arms up if you can. Breathe. Nice. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, release the hands and bring them out to the side. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then bring the right one down inside that left foot. Yes. Straighten through that left knee. Take your left arm high. Whew. Or revolve triangle. Try to keep those hips square. Keep even weight on both feet as best you can. Okay, no problem. Relax, breathe, take a twist. Good, very nice. One more, deep inhale. Exhale, let's bring that hand down. Let's bend into the knee and come up on the ball of the back foot. And then we're gonna drop that back knee and point the toe and come into crescent moon. Oh, lovely. Right down to your right knee. Yes, move. Lift. And then as you come down with the hands, heel and toe the left foot out to the side. Make sure the left knee goes right over that ankle. As you reach, bring your hands down inside the foot for your gecko. Yeah, nice deep stretch. Rock and roll. And roll, there we go. You can maybe come down to your elbows if that feels really good to you. Or stay on your hands, whatever works best. And breathe your stretch. And then as you press into the hands to shift your weight to the back knee, okay, push into your hands to come up on the back knee. Uh -huh. Yep, come on the back knee, that's it, push. And then we'll heel and toe this left foot forward, pull the toes up as we stand on the right knee. Yes, beautiful, lift, 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 lift. Uh-huh, and on the exhale, see if you can fold over that leg. Uh-huh. Good. Breathe. Energetically, you are plugging the femur into your hip socket, okay? So there's a lot happening right here. Breathe in. And if you want to, if this is part of your practice, go ahead and Slide that left heel forward. Take it into your Hanumanasana. See how much stretch that you want to get there or stay right where you are. If that gives you enough stretch in your hamstring, then just do that. Yeah, otherwise you take it one step further. Maybe take it to, oh, one of these days. If you can lift your heart, lift your heart, pressing into the hands, pull this heel back. Good. Bring the knees together. Set it back. Bring the hands back by your feet and just lay over the thighs for just a moment. Breathe. Um, 
from here. We're going to bring these hands forward. Well, let's put them right underneath our shoulders first, and we'll just sit up so we can stretch the ankles and the tops of the feet. Take your shoulders forward, lift, and take them back. And sit nice and high. Hold the belly, oh. nice straight spine. Top of the head reaches for the sky. And then curl these toes under, and we'll sit back again. Stretch the toes and the soles of the feet. Any plans or fascitis issues? This is the best stretch you can make for yourself. And you have any feet. And heavy on the heels, stretch the toes and the soles of the feet. And then on your exhale, just come on forward once again. It's out. Good. And then we're going to curl the toes under and come back. We're facing the hot here. Nice. Press it out. Hold your dog for just a couple of breaths. I want you to pull the belly, press and lift the hips as high as they'll go. High as the tail goes. Again. Good. And when you're ready, we're going to take this right leg straight back. And we're just going to hold it up about hips height. Okay. And then from here, see if we can come forward to plank. Yeah. Holding that right leg up. See how that goes for you. Breathe here for just a moment. And then on the exhale, come through chaturanga, or let's come all the way to the mat, all the way down to the mat. And then bring that right foot down, point both toes, uh-huh. Hands come back to out either side of your chest. Inhale and do a small cobra. Uh-huh. Drop on your belly. There you go, lift it high. <laughs> exhale, forehead comes down. One more time, curl the belly, or curl the tailbone, pelvis, under. Pull the belly in, squeeze the hips, and lift for your small cobra. Now, right here, pick the hands up. See if you can hold it. Nice. Hands come down, curl the toes under, push back, downward facing dog. Push it back, and walk it back. <sighs> Nice. Good. Push it way out. Stretch through that low back, through your shoulders, and then take your left leg back. No, it's coming straight out of the hip. Leg again. And then, on your next inhale, lift up onto the ball of this right foot to come. yourself up. Exhale, the hands come down, curl the toes under, and push back. Now we're facing up. Bend that knee, just really 
Exhale, the hands come down. And let's take a vinyasa or just sit back to top. Whichever. Back. Good. This time, left leg to the back and up. automatically. I want you to push into the hands and press your hips back. Stay high on the balls of the feet as you shift your weight to the feet. Breathe. Next inhale, now shift the entire uh, shoulder over your hands. Pull the belly in and let's bring out to the knees and count. Six. Bending the knees, five, pull the belly, four, three, cover your knees, your knees, two, cover on one, and then bring them down to the mat, yes, and then touch the big toes together, separate your knees as wide as your mat, or close to it, separate your knees out. Toes together, knees out. Toes together. Yep. And then make your way into your child's pose. There we go. Forehead comes down to the mat. Sit here for a moment. Find your good guy breathing up here. And as you're ready, up you come. We're going to press into the hands, lift the hips, bring those knees underneath your hips, curl the toes under. Is that another big bug here? Oh gosh. <laughs> Hang on. Hips up one more time. Downward facing dog. Push it all the way back. Push, 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 and then step or walk or jump your feet up between the hands. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. 
Now press the feet, arms come out and up. Pick up your thumbs. Exhale, hands come to your heart center. There you go. Revisit while you're practicing yoga today. And while you do that, step wide on your mat. Bug patrol. We need to have bug spray, I guess. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So go as wide as you can here. All right. Take the arms out to the side. Exhale, bring them behind your back and interlace. And then inhale, open the heart. Lift the arms. And let's take a forward fold. Wide legged, Uttanasana, forward fold. Put your head down however far it wants to go. Breathe here. Neck is solid. We're coming together on your back. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, bring the arms out to the side and down underneath your shoulders. And inhale, walk halfway. Just look up. Look straight up, yep. Exhale, forward fold. Take the top of your head towards the mat. See if you can get it down there. And once you're down, maybe you'll come into a nice headstand. Yeah. Dirty. <laughs> Stay where you are. If this is not your practice. Okay, you can give it a go. Woo! And then you release. When you're ready, the feet come back to where they started. <laughs> and then you pick your head up and you come up halfway. Exhale, forward <laughs> fold. Yes. <laughs> okay, push it down. Now, let's grab the left ankle with our left hand. Reach the right one over the top of that left hand and pull your nose towards your knee. Drop your right ribcage down. The right shoulder down. Good. Good. And then pick this right hand up. Float it all the way back to the right ankle. Left arm comes around. Take a shift. Nose comes towards your knee. Breathe. And then when you're ready, the hands come back to the front. Let's take them out, walk them out in front of you about a hand's distance. And then as you come forward, I want you to press into the arms as though you're going to go into an arm balance. And pick the heels up and lift and lift. And then as you exhale, the heels come down. Put your hands wherever they need to be for you to rock back on your heels. Pull the balls of the feet up. And again, walk it forward. Lift the heels high. Woo. Exhale, bring them down. And then shift and rock back on your heels. Pull the toes up. Good. And then as you come forward, neutralize. From right to neutral here, bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Oof. Take one more deep inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Yep. Try to take the top of the head towards the mat as best you can. Take two deep inhales and exhales. Long, legs are long and strong, just as in Tadasana. And then, as you lift your torso up, let's just bring the knees in underneath of us. Bring them in underneath, put them about hips width apart or so. Get the feet to go straight back from your knees. Okay, and let's see if we can't take it into a hero pose. Stay back. And that way we can stretch out through the quads and the tops of the feet. Uh -huh. You can use a block if you need to. You take a block and set it between your feet 
and then you can sit on the block. Okay. Just breathe into this. Whatever your practice happens to be. And some of us will take the hands behind us and we'll rock back just a little bit. Just kind of take it down to where you get a deeper stretch into those quads. You don't have to go far, wherever your practice goes, okay? If you want to come down to the elbows, maybe grab your feet, maybe, if you want, and then lift your heart up. That's a nice bridge. Let your head fall back. Be here for a few breaths. And then very mindfully bring the head up first. Get your bearings and then walk up to the feet, hands once again to bring your torso up. And then from here, we're just going to come forward, Oof. shake out those legs, and come to seated here. But what we're going to do is pick the legs up now and take them out to the side. I know. Big, deep stretches. And so, there we go. See if you can sit up nice and high. Toes and knees face straight up. Okay? Parallel. Chin is parallel to the mat, to the pelvis, pull the belly, nice and straight. Top of the head reaches and reaches and reaches up, okay? Now the hands can come behind once again, and we can fall back into this. Keep the legs very active. And then bend into the elbows. Take the shoulder blades and scoop your heart center up to the sky and lift. Let your head go wherever it goes. And breathe. Just open the heart. Also, nice back bend here. Good. And the next inhale, I close the head. Ah. And then walk the hands towards the torso. Right? Bring the hands in front. And if you want, we're going down. Just walk the hands forward. So this is a nice deep stretch, wherever you happen to be. Yep. Use, keep your legs active. So pull, push through the heels and pull the toes back. Uh-huh. It doesn't matter if you go all the way down, as long as you have your legs active, you can feel the stretch right through your, your inner thighs, down through the feet. Uh-huh, breathe here. And see if you can breathe right into these hip flexors. And then it allows for the torso maybe to go down a little bit further. Maybe. Maybe not yet. Breathe. Mm -hmm. Stay with it. Good. And then when you're ready. Well, let's stay here for just a couple more minutes. Keep breathing that stretch, okay? See how it goes for you. Mm -hmm. And then when you're ready, start to walk the hands back. Pull your belly in to support your spine because you're coming up with a straight, straight spine, all right? All the way up. Now take this right hand behind your right leg and the left hand comes in front. And then pressing into the mat, I want you to lift the torso up and turn your navel towards that right leg. Yes. And then we're gonna come forward. Press through that left sit bone. Take your right hand maybe and put it out to the foot. I don't like that one so much. Put your right hand back, take your left arm and put it to the outside of your right foot. And then continue to twist your navel to square to your leg and breathe. Mm -hmm. Drop your left shoulder down. 
Relax the shoulders away from your ears. Uh -huh. One more deep inhale. Good. And then on the next inhale, come on up. Take the arm up and over the top. Settle the left hand behind the left leg. Bring the right one around to the front. Press into the mat, lift, and take a twist to the left leg. See if you can bring the navel around. And as you walk it down, press through that right hip, your sit bone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, it's a big bug, yes. <laughs> You okay? <laughs> You're the best. Thank you, Anna. I know. Let's try it. Take it down. And then with your right hand, reach to the outside of your left foot. Turn your navel. Drop your right shoulder and stretch. And then let's breathe it one more time. Nice deep inhale. Keep your legs active. And then you can start to walk yourself back. Mm -hmm. All the way back. Good. Now pick up the knees and bring the soles of the feet together and rock and roll side to side. Okay. Try to take your knee all the way down. All the way down. Yeah. All the way down. Ah, good. And then as you come up to neutral, hold on to the ankles. Uh huh. Lift through the top of the head, straight arms. See if you can lift your heart. And as you exhale, just release. Just release. You zip all the way up through here. And then on the release, you drop your shoulder girdle. Inhale, lift once again. Make sure the spine is nice and straight. Pull the shoulders down your back as you lift the head up. Breathe, press your knees down. Good, one more deep inhale. And on the exhale, just release. So you just kind of drop. Yeah, and it feels good, doesn't it? Good. And then from here, well, let me see. Oh, <clears throat> you just check. Mm. Okay, from here, let's come down to our backs. Come on down. And let's walk the feet in close to your hips. Lengthen through the back of the neck. Find a bridge pose here. Now, if Dhanurasana is your pose, uh, back bend, nice back, then go ahead and go into that. Otherwise, walk your shoulder blades underneath of you as you press the hips up. Maybe clasp your hands, interlace underneath the hips. Keep your neck long and lift. Three deep inhales and exhales. Keep lifting, pressing, and lifting through the feet and the thighs. Turn on your hamstrings to help you lift those hips and curl the tailbone under. One more inhale. On the exhale, come on down one vertebra at a time. Work it all the way down. Yep, shoulders get out of the way, and then you can windshield wiper your knees side to side, help your low back. Okay, two more bridge poses, whatever you, wherever you want to take it, wherever your practice is. So, for us, we're just going to inhale and lift, walk the shoulder blades underneath, pull. Clasp your hands and pull the hands down by your feet. Breathe. 
We do. Inhale, connect. You can do it. I know you can. One more. Deep inhale. Press and lift. And then exhale one vertebra at a time. Bring it down. And then windshield wiper the knees side to side in case you, you know, got into your low back a little bit. Good. And once again, step into the feet. Take a deep inhale, exhale, lift as you push up, roll the back body up, walk the shoulders underneath you, pull the hands down by the feet, press and lift. Breathe deep, inhales and exhales. Keep pressing the feet and lifting the heart. Pressing and lifting. Ready, one more, deep inhale. On the exhale, you can release that. Bring it down one vertebra at a time. Nice and easy. Oh, let's pull the knees in. Rock and roll side to side a little bit. Yeah. And then let's let this left leg or the right leg go straight down. And we'll cross the left leg across. Let's see. I forget which leg I'm on. I'm going to cross my left one over <laughs> for a twist. Reach out through your left arm. Take your gaze to the left if you'd like, and you'll get a complete spinal twist. Breathe. Mm -hmm. And then maybe take your gaze to the right. Push through that left heel to straighten out the leg, and then bring the leg straight up on its own as you come back to neutral on your pelvis. And then pull the knees in. Boom. Rock and roll. Side to side. Give her a little massage. Mm -hmm. And then the left leg goes straight. And the right knee comes up. Right arm goes out to the side. Dragging knee over the top of the body. Oh. Take your gaze to the right. Breathe. Mm-hmm. Feel that lovely twist, as well as the hip. Nice stretch through the hip. Breathe it. And then as you're ready, rock your head to the left. Push through the heel on the right foot. Bring that right leg straight up. There we go. And then bring both knees in. Uh-huh, rock and roll side to side. Very nice. From here, those of you that have a shoulder stand in your practice, I would suggest shoulder stand to plow. Uh, those of us that do not have shoulder stand, we're going to go into one more bridge. Or actually, no, those of us that do not have shoulder stand, take your legs straight up and push through the heels. Okay? and flex your toes really, really strong. And your legs become like one, okay? And then maybe let's drop, put your arms out to the side. You can even put the palms down if you need to, but drop the legs about two feet over to your right. Mm -hmm. Or however far you might wanna go. And then inhale and bring those legs up as though they're one leg. And then drop them over to your left. Two feet, one foot, two inches, whatever it is for you. Drop it. And then inhale it up. Good for you. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders up. Interlace your fingers right behind the head. Let's drop one foot. We'll go into yogi bicycles. Right here. Go as fast or as slow as you want to go. Cross the body with your elbow.
Don't forget to breathe. Do not hold your breath. However many of these you want to do, feel free to do it. And when you're done, just be done. Ah. You can let your knees fall together. Feet come out to the side edges of the mat. Just tent those knees a little bit and relax. From here, we're gonna take, if you're still in shoulder and you have come down out of plow, or maybe you're coming down now out of plow, either way, once you're down, let's take a happy baby. Spread your knees as wide as they will go and pull the feet straight down. Feel your sacrum and your tailbone going down to the mat. Feel the entire spine lengthening on the mat. Breathe. Just pull it down, keep pulling down. And then if you like to, if it's in your practice, take your peace fingers around the big toes and take these legs out to the side and push the feet towards the bottom of the mat to give your shoulders a nice stretch. Just be here, you can rock your hips if you like just by pulling down on one foot and then the other foot, if that feels good to you, or stay still and breathe. And whenever you're ready then, if there's something else that you want to do that we didn't even practice today and you were just dying to do it, please feel free to do that. Otherwise, come into a Shavasana. Wherever your Shavasana happens to be, if you want your legs up the wall or you just want your legs to go long on the mat, our arms are comfortably away from the torso, palms up. Allow your breathing to come back to its normal rhythm. If you need to, hold your breath for a couple of seconds and then sigh it out and see if you can relax and relax and relax. We're going to be here for a few minutes. So relax completely. Stay right here with you. Just allow your body to sink and settle into everything you just did. And see how it feels. Stay right here with me. Enjoy the breeze, the blue sky. Close your eyes if you can, otherwise keep them very soft. And relax. Relax your feet your ankles, relax to the calves and the shins and the knees, relax to your quads, your thighs, hamstrings, and hips, relax to the pelvis and the belly, relax through the heart center, out the arms, Across your shoulders, relax, relax your neck, and 
make sure your face is relaxed, maybe a little smile on your lips. Keep those muscles relaxed. Scan your own body. Begin to bring your attention back to your table. Very gently. You head side to side. And you wake up the fingers and toes. Maybe take a deep stretch if you'd like. Arms overhead. Get your body out long. Start to wake it up. <sighs> Stretch it out. And then make your way over. You can bend your knees and make your way over to your right side. Or your left if that's better for you. Just be there for just a moment. Yeah. Roll on over. And then you'll continue to roll until both hands can help you up to an easy seated position. Let your head do the last thing up. Yeah. Good. And then bring your hands together at your heart side. Very sweaty. Yeah, it's hot out here. <laughs> Okay, take a deep inhale. Put your thumbs right at your sternum. Take an uh, exhale. Bow your head. Drop your shoulders. Yeah. Uh, now scan your body and see how you're feeling. And then thank yourself for being here today. I thank you all for being here today. Especially those of us that had to deal with the bugs. <laughs> Oh, such is life in the big city. If that were on, the only thing we ever had to worry about, was big bugs like this. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Take a moment with me, please. Send out your love and your thoughts and your prayers to the people on this planet that are suffering right now. Send them your highest vibration for peace and love. See if we can raise the vibration of the planet up. Come out of the muck up. Thank you. The divine light within me honors the divine light within you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. We did it. First I came me today to Barbara and how thank you. And, and how she take care of me. Yeah, that bug loves you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Barbara, hi, everybody. Who's there? Thank you so much. Thank you very much.
you guys. Have a great day, okay? Thank you. Uh-huh. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thanks for your patience. Appreciate that. Thank you. It was a good class. Thank you. Good. Okay, now if I can figure out how to get out. Let me get my glasses. Hmm? I know, to stay out of the sun, right? I know. Oh, it's okay. 